Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now Cyberpunk 2077 Update 2.0 is here and if you've read the notes you might think that traditional hard drives have been banished. Along with the updated system requirements comes a new SSD requirement as well. Previously Cyberpunk ran ok on my HDD, in fact it ran surprisingly well on my 7200 RPM WD Caviar Black. As you would expect though loading times were much longer and toggling the included HDD mode from the menu was also a good idea just to try and alleviate some of the bigger performance dips that did occur in particularly busy areas once the game had or had at least tried to load everything in. HDD mode boosts data loading and crowd activity at the expense of crowd variety, extra loading screens and less street detail while driving fast. All in all the experience wasn't perfect but ultimately the previous version of Cyberpunk 1.63 was more than playable on my good old hard disk drive. But what about 2.0? Using an HDD is no longer advisable but let's give it a go anyway. After all it can't possibly be as bad as Starfield, right? Interestingly, despite the so-called SSD requirements, the HDD mode toggle does still remain in the options menu. I thought the crowd density option had disappeared though this time around, but it's been moved to the graphics section in this update. As you'd expect, the initial loading time, after you've selected a previous save game, still takes ages. I've sped this up quite a bit, as it would just be unfair to make you sit through it as well. But this took about two minutes. As far as the gameplay goes however, well this is where I was pleasantly surprised. The patch notes made me think that using a hard drive would be a considerably worse experience than before, but actually it was no worse than before, at least performance wise. This gameplay is from HDD mode turned off and you might notice the occasional spike in frame times but all in all it seemed okay. Now obviously everyone's hardware configurations are different and the model of the HDD as well as the speed will affect things. Performance may also depend on where you are in the game and what's going on on screen but from my initial hour of gameplay using my WD Caviar Black Drive the experience has been mostly acceptable. Oh, apart from the fact that sometimes it took a while for the roads and textures to load, plus the city was a bit like a ghost town for a good few minutes. Yeah, that sort of affected immersion and the missing surfaces was something I personally didn't experience in the previous version of the game. Toggling HDD mode on just like before is still advisable and it will help alleviate some of those aforementioned problems. I would like to explicitly reiterate that performance will vary from system to system and drive to drive and so might the levels of popping and slow asset loading that you can expect if you try and play the game on an HDD. All I can do is always share my personal experience in the hopes that it may be helpful. My conclusion of said experience, at least after a short period, is that I was expecting worse. I'm sure some of the HDDs I have lying around will in fact do a lot worse than this one. Now SSDs are only getting cheaper and I'd certainly advise buying one for any PC build, new or used in 2023, but with all that said, it might not be all doom and gloom for your old hard disk drive just yet, especially if you don't mind the occasional missing texture, pedestrian or floor. <laughs> There we go then, thank you very much for watching. If you're wondering whether or not you can play Cyberpunk 2.0 on an HDD, well it depends on the drive itself, but ultimately if you could play it before on an HDD, you can probably still play it on that same drive. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to of course and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next video.